Hello fellow YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you this new project where I'm controlling currently I'm controlling eight LEDs where they are paired so we're in, in two so I'm actually controlling 16 LEDs but uh, this is made possible with the Arduino and an ULN 2803 chip which is a transistor array uh, where it's capable of driving 500 milliamps it's able to sync 500 milliamps this is connected to the different rows or columns the different LED pairs and the red green and blue color are connected each to a PNP resist uh, transistor you see here so red green and blue is paired is the same for each of the LED and then they have a uh, common ground uh, which goes to the ULN chip for driving then this is multiplexed by using one of the timers inside the Arduino where then multiplex LED 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on and write the specific analog value to that LED that's also why you can see currently I made this demonstration, color fading demonstration where the LEDs are changing color in the so-called HSV hue saturation value spectre so the Arduino is calculating the different values for each LED because I gave, gave them a number in the spectre currently I gave this in the hue spectre which is an angle I gave this 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70 degrees and that's why you see it swipes across and they are not changing in the same uh, time span so this is made possible using the Arduino and uh, three PVM outputs then multiplexing it with the uh, one of the timers in sight and then controlling and calculating the HSV values increasing the H, H the hue uh, degree but uh, let's have a look how easy it is to change these pictures because currently as you see it runs all from the left side to the right side but I can actually group it so if I change it like this this could be a group of colors and this could be another group now you'll see that I've divided these into different color groups currently you see this is pink red and now this is pink and red so I've actually just changed this so here we have angle 0, 10, 20 and 30 in the hue spectre and here we have 130, 140, 150 and 160 so we just have a space of 100 degrees in here and that's why you see the the delay in the changing so that's very easy this is a hue saturation value HSV example but it's very easy just to tell this diode to be that specific color I've uploaded the code too for this example and you will see that it consists of an array of 8 LEDs with 3 uh, uh, arrays more for the sec for the colors red green and blue and you will be able to just change these values and it will take care of it in the multiplexing in the timer so just change those values and that is also what the Arduino is doing in the main loop just change the values and you'll see them being changed on the LEDs so uh, thank you for watching I've uploaded both the schematic of this circuit uh, which is easy expandable because you can just add another ULN chip uh, you just need the extra IOs I uploaded the Arduino code 2 for you to uh, take a look and uh, see how I did it with the timers because it was a pain in the ass to be uh, exact because uh, I'm currently using one of the PVM timers too so it was a hot job but currently it, it looks good uh, if you can see it well enough so uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed it and I hope you can uh, use the code or the schematic 
If you wasn't able to see the colors before, I just changed a setting in my camera. So you should be able to see more clearly now how the LEDs are changing. Over here too. So uh, once again, uh, thank you for watching. Okay, Jay, production.